Nice. Perfect. So I'll show you exactly what happened. Okay. So you tie it. Now, as you tighten it, it's got to get past the knot. See, this has a big bulky knot on this line, mm -hmm. and it didn't get all the way. See the knot. The this knot has to pass under there. So it was probably hung up there. it was probably hung up like that. Yeah. And then see how loose that is, and yeah. it just. So you got to make sure that your knot passes underneath like that. That will not come out. So I'm going to take my rope that I want to tie to. I'm going to take my throw line with the loop. I'm going to go around behind. It's going to come underneath of itself like that. And then it's going to come up. And then I'm going to pass the end of my line through that loop. And then I'm just going to tighten up. So that's the pile hitch. So even after a crazy load, if you take the, the bite here and you open it up, you can always very easily just slide it off the end of your rope. You did it. I go like this. Down. Around. Mm -hmm. Under. And then I stick the end over here. Yep. I guess that's what you did too. I did the same thing. I just didn't poke the end. I just pulled it through. Through from the middle. So yeah. It's that extra little step of tightening. Makes a big difference. Oh yeah. See what I mean? Yeah. That, knot, that knot is too bulky on there. Exactly when we're done, I'll cut that off and we'll retie a smaller knot. It was originally a climbing line, but now we just use it for rigging. So yeah, you can see what we're actually pulling on. We're just pulling on that one arm, and with the amount of pull that we're going to have, it can easily snap out of there. So we got to try and, like you said, pop some of those smaller branches. Maybe if I pull straight down here, might be enough. There you go. That'll do. So we can improvise an anchor here. Because we don't need a crazy pull. So with these fence posts, we also got the neighbor's tree, but. I think this post right at the base would be good enough for something small like this. 
And I'll show you the English trucker's hitch. <clears throat> So, you need to pace out a good 10 to 15 feet from your anchor. So you're going to tie it somewhere in here. Did you watch the video already or yeah, no? I watched the you video. did? I just haven't tried it. Okay. So yeah, you take a bite, set it on top. So you take a big bite in your right hand and you rest it on top of the rope once, twice. Right. You wrap the rope around it once and then you wrap it a second time on the inside like this and I use this hand and I just keep a bit of tension on it and then this section here twists it's a little more secure if you had an extra twist then you're gonna reach through grab this now this section here wants to twist naturally so what I usually do is just add an extra twist and then I'll reach through here and I'll grab the line and I'll pull it through. I'm gonna run this bite all the way back to that beaner. And snap that in the beaner. Okay. So I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna run this all the way back to my anchor. And pop that into here. And you keep it under a bit of tension as you do this. And then, and that is what it looks like. Just gotta make sure you keep that tight. Okay, this is your pull line. Yeah. Wow. So that's like a three to one. So, yeah, so for every three feet you pull here, you yeah. get one foot of pull there but it's multiplying your pull by three. Mm. So you're trading off. It looks like a three to one. Of course, it's not a three to one because you've got a lot of friction in the system, but you can pull a lot using just this. You could also add a pulley at the anchor and that would increase the efficiency. So yeah, give her a good pull and see what you can... See, a lot of people, the main objection that people have is this rope on rope. Everyone says this is this is a bad thing, but in this scenario, this is awesome. This acts like a progress capture. Okay. As you so as you're pulling, yeah. you'll you'll notice you don't have to maintain that full pull. Uh, the friction here will maintain a lot yeah, of it for you. Losing, right? If if this was a pulley, yeah. you'd have to pull and you'd have to maintain that yeah, that so tension the entire time, right? Yeah. right? Yeah. That's cool. Yeah. So that'll pull her over no problem.
Okay, so I'm going to start. Oh, I'll show you how to untie this. It's, an, it's a special way to untie it. So you got to unhook it here. You got to find where you were pulling from, which would have been yeah. this leg. Okay, and then you're just going to pull. And the whole thing just disappears. I'll come back to my anchor. I'll pull this out of my anchor. And this is the leg that I was pulling on. So I, again, I just pull. And the whole thing just falls apart. It's ve that's very important. A lot of people untie it wrong and then you get a big knot in the middle of your rope. So I'm going to insert the chipper. Yeah. You can start cutting this up. Cut it, cut it small. Yeah. Just be super careful with that house there. Well, there it is. I hope that video made sense and I hope you can see the, uh, the practicality and the effectiveness of just a simple trucker's hitch in a situation like that. Um, I do plan on making more videos like this. I want to look at the, uh, the five to one fiddle block setup as well as the Mosdam rope puller. So uh, let me know what you think in the comments. Make sure you click that like button. And if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, make sure you do that. So until next time, Tree Mugs out.